Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Edgewater, Saskatchewan. And today, we will be harvesting our flax field. That is right here in front of us. It, uh, it won't take too long. Maybe it will take a little bit. We will go around the headlands once and then hire a worker and go up and down. And I have a few things to show you. I've done a little bit off screen setting up the farm. Uh, we have a new couple new pieces of equipment. We bought new land. It looks like we're not going fast enough for the uh, straw to keep up. Or no. It'd be the straw is going so fast that we can't keep up with it. As you can see, there's little divots here and there. Uh, we will definitely want to upgrade our combine uh, as soon as possible, I think. Because this is going to take a while. Also, I don't know if this is the right way to harvest flax. Uh, if you didn't see the first episode, this is my first time on Edgewater, Saskatchewan. So I have no idea what I'm doing. So if this isn't the right way to harvest flax, please let me know in the comments. And I will fix it. What's our yield looking like? Pretty terrible. I also want to say the American Dream server has switched maps. We are now on Iowa Plains View. Uh, we just started it today. When this episode comes out, it should be the same exact day. Uh, so please come check us out. Or come join us, I should say. We will be bailing up this uh, flax straw. We do have a baler. These fields are a lot bigger than I anticipated. And I wonder if this combine can handle a bigger header. It seems to handle this one pretty well. So 
So maybe before we move to this section across the river, we go and upgrade the header. Maybe for something a little bit faster. So we're almost all the way around. We just have to go up there towards the road. Do a little in cab around the curve here. Don't want to show off the new equipment that I got quite yet. There we go, that is all the way around the field. We'll go ahead and hire a worker. And we will walk backwards. To about somewhere. About right here, I think. And we'll turn around. So as you can see, we have a couple new pieces of equipment. We have the... I'm not even going to try to pronounce that, but we have a grain auger. We've got a tractor that we bought, and we've got a baler, the 690. We've got a sprayer, the John Deere uh, 4940. We have a Case 3040 Lime Spreader. This is going to do our lime. We have a planter, seeder, and a cultivator, as you saw before. And I think everything else is the same. For land, we now have this field here that I bought. And then we have this area here. This is the cow barn, as you can see. So we're going to get into cows. We will be buying this area of grass once we harvest this area of flax here. We'll sell this for 60 grand and then buy this for 26. Well, I guess we could do that now. All right, so I scratched my plan. We just bought it. So we now own that. So now we need a mower to go mow that field. So yeah, in the meantime, we will start the bailing process. Uh, I have no idea how many bales we're going to produce out of here. There we go. Once again, I've never done this before, so I'll, if I'm doing something wrong, please let me know in the comments. I have no idea if you actually bale flax straw or not. Our combine is doing pretty good. Probably should have emptied him before he went off, but I'm sure he'll be fine.
Looks like we're gonna have to touch up some bits and pieces that the harvester missed. I also want to unload this bale here. That'll be just fine right there. I probably should have went around twice, but I figured the worker would have been fine. Maybe we'll end up going around again with the combine. Once, If we catch up to him with the baler, then we'll definitely go around twice. But for now, just the once is good enough. We seem to be getting a decent amount of flax straw. Uh, I don't think it's quite the same yield as wheat straw. I guess we will find out eventually when we harvest our wheat field. Here at some point we should get a uh, helper is 80% full. And we'll have to switch tractors and go unload him. Also I realized we need a third tractor. We need a probably about an 8R. For some of the bigger jobs for this tractor. But yet small jobs for the big tractor, if that makes sense. And now it's just going up and down. Looks like he's got a severe overlap. Oh, it's not that bad. It's good enough. He is 56% full. I kind of figured he'd be a little bit fuller than that. Now there's no way I'm going to make that turn, so we'll go every other row. At this rate, we will definitely catch up with the Combine.
uh, our loan situation, we do have a $585,000 loan out. And we're going to catch up with the combine. We'll go ahead and come over here and pick up this flax straw. This process is definitely going to take a while, so we might need to upgrade. But first we need to uh, finish harvesting this field. Or this section of the field. I wonder what we can do with these uh, flax bales. Uh, I, I'm curious if we can use them for cows as bedding or in their total mixed ration. Let's just find that out real quick. Can we use this? We can! Looks like we can use... what icon is that? Peas. Looks like we can use peas as well. And what else was there? And corn. So that is good to know. I guess we don't really need our wheat field anymore then.
All right, so we have caught up to the combine. So what we're going to do is go to the other tractor. Looks like our combine is 79% full. So we're going to hop into the tractor, the 9620R. I know this is going to be a little bit overpowered for this grain cart, but it'll be fine. Just a little bit overpowered. We'll get it set up here, and we will hop into our semi. And we'll go ahead and pull it out into the, into the field. just like so. We'll wait for our combine to turn around. It looks like he's pretty full. The, uh, the flax texture is quite interesting. It uh, kind of looks like sorghum in a way. So that is the combine emptied. We'll go ahead and bring the pipe out. We'll go ahead and unload into the semi because we are 53% full. And this is what I was talking about about needing a third tractor for jobs like this that's our small comp our small tractor is occupied and so we have our big tractor but this is a bit overpowered so we need a third tractor for jobs like this There we go, that's that emptied. And I think the combine can do the rest on one hopper. So we'll go ahead and spin this around here. And uh, just leave it right there. Uh, while we wait, 
going to take a little bit of a loan out. And we're going to go on a little spending spree. So we're going to get the Agco Swather. And we're going to get the 30-foot mower. And we will get the trailer for it. Because we now have a grass field that we need to mow. We will let that guy go. Uh, speaking of new equipment, we have the 50-foot gooseneck over here. And the modded gooseneck seed tender. So we can fill up our planters when it comes time. That's probably good enough. We will get this pick up and we'll go and hook up to the uh, the trailer you always want to bring the trailer first just in case it falls off or the header falls off that way you're not bringing the harvester all the way back So we're almost there. I gotta remember which turn in it is. I do believe it's this one here. There we go. We'll go ahead and take this to the grass field. Actually, before we do that, we're going to upgrade the power for this truck. Do not have enough money. I can change that pretty quickly. That is more like it. Now she's got more horsepower.
So this is the cow barn here. We got a nice little bridge to cross. We have a house. We got some bends. And of course we have the cow barn itself. Nice little creek here and here's our grass field. So we will go ahead and take our swather back to the grass field. I really wish this thing was a little bit faster. 19 miles an hour is good, but it could really be faster. So we'll bring this into our cow barn here. We will hook it up to our mower. I guess it's a header, isn't it? We'll hook it up to our header. And for now, we will leave it sit there. I have no words. I have absolutely no words. Well, on that note, we will leave it here for today, guys. Uh... In between episodes, I will fix this mess, and see you later. Goodbye!